Hey, 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 what's up? This is Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors just like you, okay? This is episode 191. I'm getting closer to the 200 mark. And today I have a very special guest. Um, if, if you've been watching, rocking with me lately, I've been bringing some of my VIP special, special special, special clients on so that they can share their experiences um, with me in the inner circle, which is my VIP coaching program. Um, and today um, I want to bring on, where is she? Dawn Bino. Hello, Dawn. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing today? Hi, Angie Mel. Angie Mel says, hello. One of my book members. Don, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for thank you for being here. Um, Don's on the East Coast. I'm in the West. We've been trying to we've been trying to work this interview out for a minute now. So I'm so glad we were able to find a time that worked for us. As you guys pop on, if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. Put one in the comments. If this is your first time watching. If you're an OG watcher, put OG in the comments. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. Don. Yes. Tell the people who you are, what you do, and where you're based. And as y'all come on, say hi to Dawn. I see y'all watching. So say hi, okay? Hey, everybody. I am a Dawn Bino. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, originally from New York City. I'm a singer, actress, and voiceover artist. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and emails an OG. Yes, OG. Hey, OG. Tina Foss, fellow Inner Circle member. Mm -hmm. Oh, G in the house. Thank you for welcoming Dawn. Oh, man. So listen, we have been rocking together one-on-one -on -one for the past six months in the inner circle. Yes. But before that, how, I love I always asking this question. How did we get connected? Because we've been working together for six months, but we've been working together technically longer than that. So how did we get connected? I think that you've been mentoring me before I actually took the leap of joining the inner circle because I started watching your videos maybe about a year and a half ago, almost two years. Um, so I started to follow you. And then every time I started to follow you, you know how, uh, I guess, if you want to say it's like the algorithm will show you what you've already seen. So it'll just keep kicking back more videos. So the more I watched, the more intrigued I was. And um, it just seemed like the right thing to do for me at this time. Got it was it. the best thing for me to do at this time. And um, what I love about your story, when Don and I talked on the phone, it was actually your husband who was like, <laughs> Look, you need to, uh, let me give a shout out to the spouse, to the spouses and to the partners out there who will support us in our crazy lives. Yeah, <laughs> he's been amazing. Uh, my husband's name is Richard. Hey, Richard. We've been married for a very long time, and uh, <laughs> no, it's been a great, wonderful time that we've been married. We've been enjoying each other, and um, we have three fabulous children. All yeah. of them are artists in different le on different levels. Um, so what really started to happen is I started looking at what you proposed with the inner circle. And I said, hmm, six months, okay. I could do six months with Christine and I get the option of doing like virtual study and I won't have to worry about being late because I'm kind of like everybody's Uber right now. So I'm driving everybody everywhere. So I knew that if I had a set time and I could kind of put it in my schedule and work it around that way, I know that I would have the set time with you. And then you also gave the benefit of having those one-on-one -on -one options. So that was really good and that was really cool. Where did you think, you've been performing for, I mean, a very, very long time. Yeah. I mean, theater, concerts, I mean, you're an amazing vocal coach. I mean, just everything, amazing actress. Mm -hmm. But where did you feel, and this, uh, those of you watching, you may relate to something Dawn says about this struggle. Where did you feel what wasn't working? What um, were you doing and then and what was the, the fogginess for you? Okay, so it, 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 I don't think it was as foggy as it was not natural. Because at first, 
I could do every, I knew how to do everything big and grand, you know, theater, you're a theater person as well. So right. we know how to stand on the stage and make sure that our voices, our reactions and actions reach the very last row in the back right. of the room, whatever house it is, whether it's a thousand people, 500 people, you know, whatever the size of the room is, we can work that room. But I needed to understand how to do the smaller nuances better. Right. I knew how to bring it down and do the inside voice because I knew how to do voiceovers. I've been doing voiceovers for 30 years. So I knew how to manipulate the voice for it to work. But I felt like my genuine reactions weren't meeting up with just the texture of the voice and the tone of the quality that needed to make the character real. Right. Sense? It does make sense. Yeah. So I, 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 I almost took, I took this, these past six months for me, I took it upon myself to retrain my brain and to throw out whatever else I thought I knew about doing stuff on camera and reinventing the wheel. Oh, I, I love what you just said about things that you thought you knew. Absolutely. Because that comes up a lot with people when I start working with them too. They're like, so shout out to Moya, Moya Angela. I remember her, she said, I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't know. I, she's like, I see why them tapes did not do well before. <laughs> you, yeah, know? You, 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 you think that you're connecting with the character and you think that you're killing the performance, but you look back on that tape <laughs> and then forget it. If if you don't even have the option of doing the self tape for yourself, and you go to like a self taping person, no, no judgment on the self tape um, community, the people that are helping people do it. But you have time restraints. So right. I knew that I wanted to create an option for myself where I didn't have that time restraint anymore, where I could really perfect how to do a self tape better. So my husband invested in me. And yeah. that was, that's really what kind of helped me connect the dots even better. And y'all see her fierce backdrop. Let me give, let me put you fully on the screen so they can see. She got it. You see them lights? You see that backdrop? Y'all, and this I, is one ring light, by the way, just one. Y'all, I, y'all, be like, y'all probably, if you're new to me, you're probably like, why is this lady so pumped about lights and a backdrop? Because when, when my clients, like I literally was so like invested in y'all. Shout out to Wendy in the Cayman Isles, but she got her backdrop and her lights. I was like, yeah, because it changes what we see. Like casting needs to be transported. You're creating the world for casting directors when they get your self tapes, when they get your auditions. And if there's anything that is distracting, wrinkled freaking curtains, wrinkled sheets, some of y'all still need to get to ironing, okay? Absolutely. That is such a distraction. So I really, I say that I'm joking, but I'm not. I'm I feel so confident in what you send out. Dawn will send me her auditions before she submits them, which is a major perk of being in the inner circle. And I'm just like, gosh, the, the quality is on point. So I'm going to give you kudos to that. And you is laughing at me. <laughs> All y'all with them wrinkled backdrops. Don't let me see. Don't let me find you. Let's talk about, let's talk about the messy middle and the in-between. Okay. So, um, I'm very direct. I'm very direct. Those of y'all who don't know me, who haven't coached with me, I don't believe my clients get served by me uh, talking around a point. Um, when we do these self tapes, I'm going to give very direct notes. You know, hold you accountable. What you said you wanted to work on X, Y, and Z. Why is it not done? Can you talk about getting that kind of feedback and how it and how you just dealt with the learning and the in all this, we have so much stuff in the student portal. Talk a little bit about that and where you felt resistance. Cause I, this isn't about, oh, Christine's so great. Resistance comes up with all of us guys. You know, I don't want to do this assignment or I didn't get this one. Or, oh, I just didn't like this character. Talk about that. Um, I, I think the interesting thing is so often we'll get roles that we don't necessarily want to read for the role. And you have to get over that if you've made the decision to be an actor, period. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. your best work could come from the thing that you've been resisting the longest. That's what I think. Right. And I think for me, 
what was my resistance was mastering a little bit more of my memorization skills. That's why I would kind of beat myself up if I didn't have certain things down and ready because I'm one of those people, a huh, little bit, a mm, little bit, mm, mm. but I wanted to at least have a good chunk of the character imbibed in me so that I knew what I was trying to deliver and not have the script in my hands and locked into it so that you couldn't see my eyes, you couldn't see my smile, you couldn't see my frown, you couldn't see the range of emotion that needed to go with the character. So I had a lot of resistance with that at first. That was probably maybe like the first two months of really trying to get a handle on how to break through, oh, okay, so I need to break this down into three parts and study it in a, in a different way. So that's why I say, going back to my original comment, I had to relearn a lot of bad habits. And and right. I think sometimes we, we do these little quick, fast things that we think will work in, an, in a casting office, and that's not what's good. Right. Uh, you gotta get a system down in terms, process. Of, in terms of your process and how to break the character down yet again, because what you do for the stage is gonna be completely for the different for the camera. So right. I kept saying to myself, well, okay, maybe I should laugh here or maybe I should um, cry here. That's no wait for the emotion, find the emotional triggers that you need for it. And I, I basically took a step back and I said, okay, I'm letting get this get in my head too much. Mm -hmm. And instead of getting overwhelmed about it, I used my head to follow my heart. That is, good. you know, if, and if for any of you who've ever um, taken a workshop with Crystal Carson, shout out to Crystal Carson, who I just adore. She has a workshop called Auditioning by Heart. And I couldn't agree more because I've shared this story with some of you before, and I'm I'm glad to hear that working, trying to get connected to the soul, because that's what it's about. It's not about, oh, let me memorize these lines. It's about character first. Yes, you read through the script. Yes, but then, you know, we're big, I'm big on what's the character, char creating a character bio. What's their name? It's not doctor number one. It's not student number two, right? It's not mother, right? Is her name Jennifer Smith? Like you get to make that up and create that freedom. And I love, you know, when I worked on this show called um, Too Old, Too, uh, Lord and Mercy, don't, I forget <laughs> the name of the TV show. This is a show on Amazon that I'm on. And the director, he wasn't from the States. And I, I loved, he was giving uh, Miles Teller the, these notes about being outside of yourself. And when, and this is how it shows up for those of you at home and for you too, Dawn, when you're outside of yourself, watching yourself perform, you can then, that's when you start telling yourself, well, you should smile here. Oh, oh maybe you should laugh here. Uh, oh, oh, you messed that line up, right? Farrah Lopez, whenever you watch this, I get this is for you too, right? And how can we be fully connected if we are outside of ourselves judging what's happening down here? It's a little bit of Dirty Diana. My, my, my <laughs> voice is Dirty Diana. What Dawn is referring to is her inner critic. I, uh, if you read my book, Playing Small, you know, I, I encourage you to name yours. Y'all know mine's Veronica. So Dawn's a dirty, 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 dirty. Mine is dirty, dirty. And yes, you can put the song with it, everything. Because, you know, she plays the song. She's strumming the guitar hard. And you know, wow. she's a concert. And she is getting it in and letting you have it. And um, sometimes I just have to go, girl, you need to bite the bullet, figure it out, go, go in, go, go just in and, and stop thinking about it. Think, think about the heart of the matter. What's the situation? Why am I here? And for what reason are my, why do my lines matter here? And why, why what I'm saying is important here? So once I turned that corner, everything was a whole lot different for me. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, 
this is Actors Daily Bread. It's a special edition because I, I, I'm highlighting my, my Inner Circle clients. And Dawn is a graduate of the Inner Circle. And we've been doing some great work together. I've seen huge strides. Um, we were actually we're even celebrating the fact that she just got pinned for something we can't talk about. So we're seeing that growth. Give her some love here in the comments. Before we wrap, let me tell you, this is so random. When you're watching yourself, when I'm doing these lives and I'm watching myself, you know, things are backwards. So I'll be trying to swoop the hair this way, but I'll be like doing it the opposite. <laughs> it's a whole, like that mirror thing. It's so crazy. Um, wig problems, wig problems. Okay. Before we wrap, <laughs> what's, what do you feel was your biggest, I like to talk in things that are tangible. Um, in these past six months, your biggest tangible takeaway for you? Oh wow! I I, I, could, I can only say one. Oh, you so you want to say? Um, I it if if you're sitting on the fence and wondering to yourself about what to do next and how to do it, there is a process. There's a process to everything, and I think that. If you take the time to understand that there are steps that you need to take to do things instead of just flying by the seat of your pants, yes, this, this is acting and we're using our imagination, but you don't necessarily have to fly by the seat of your pants to do it. There's a process and there are steps and there are things that you can do and there are others this entire inner circle, Christine, the, the, the leadership, the, the mentorship, you know, it's, it's imperative if you're trying to go to the next level because you don't want to just stay at one level. I don't want to stay at one level. I, I, I'm pretty sure that none of you out there want to stay at the same level that you're at because if you're at that same level, you'll never know how much farther you can go. So my takeaway has been to fight the fear and do it number one use your head to follow your heart number two if you learn more you gain more you grow more and who doesn't want to grow as an artist you have to do it in order to be successful and you can't just you can't be successful or you said this you can't be successful and no one has ever heard of you it can't be a secret and a success. It can't be a secret and a success. You know, so you have to be willing to put yourself out there. I'm putting myself out there. This is a big step for me. Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this little, this little live video that everyone can see. Live, yeah. and and it, the Instagram business and the Twitter business and the. She said, the you hear Dawn? She's calling oh, it yeah. the business and the Instagram business. And Let's just see. just because you said that, because you know we're always marketing, always putting ourselves out there. I'm doing the actual live Instagram post right here. Dawn, say hi to Instagram. Hi Instagram. Hi. How you guys we're doing? Our, our marketing. So we're interviewing Dawn Bino here, just to add on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, we're going to let you go. Thank you for rocking with me today. Um, my phone's going off. <laughs> we're going to go now. Wendy says, uh, same here, girl. She's being pushed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dawn, for being here. Thank you so much for sharing your journey. Um, you're inspiring people. I'm pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. That's what Wendy says. You do it, Wendy. You've got to do it. Do it for yourself. Oh, that's another thing. Can I add that one thing? Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely yeah. doing I'm def I, I've taken a leap to do something for myself that I probably would have just kind of just sat on the sidelines still waiting for options to happen because it's not like auditions haven't come, but I haven't been directly intentional strongly about it or or strong enough about it maybe that's that's that the better way to put it so thank you for being here just the final word i want you to give before we go for the actor at home and this isn't about the inner circle just the actor at home whether you're 15 or 58 
feeling like, oh, this is the desire, but this, uh, I should just throw in a towel. I enjoy it, but it's just feeling down. And if you could just give a, speak a word of encouragement into the spirit of that person who's watching you right now, what would that be? It, it, I'd say stop thinking that it's impossible because all things are possible. And stop thinking that you're not worthy of it because you are worthy of it. And stop thinking that it's something that's unachievable because it is achievable. And you have to put yourself, start to put yourself in the mindset, just take baby steps. I took a baby, this was a giant step for me. This might be a baby step for someone else or a giant step for them as well. But the time invested in yourself will be well worth it. And that's the one thing that you, we can't redeem the time all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't always get that option. So take every minute of every hour of every day into your hands and say, yeah, I, I, I deserve this. Mm -hmm. I deserve this option. It's okay. And it's okay to want things. It's okay to want to be an actor. There's space for you. Yes. There's space for all of us to do it. There's a there's an open door for all of us to do it in some medium. Now, I don't know what everybody's thought process is in terms of what their end goal is, but I just want to do what I love. Get paid for it now. Yes. Yes, I do. But I want to do what I love pretty much for the rest of my life. And yeah. if that's you, do it for you. Definitely you. go for it. Yes. That, I have nothing else to say. Dawn, where can people follow you on the interwebs? Okay. So um, on Instagram, I am Dawn M. Bino. That's D-A-W-N-M-B-Y-N-O-E. And I'll put it in the comments after the video ends. I'll I'll edit the comments so it's there. So right. got that on, on on Facebook. It's just Dawn Bino. My artist page is coming soon, and that's under reconstruction. And my artist page on Facebook will be coming soon as well because I I need the two of them to have the same continuity. And then my YouTube link is It Just Dawned on Me, where I give you vocal tips and health tips overall to take care of your voice, take care of your body. Because even though we're actors and singers, most of us who act also sing and also do voiceovers. Let me be clear on that. I've been doing voiceovers for 30 years. And um, yeah, since I was a kid, I know. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> but the the ma the maintenance of the voice is important, and mm -hmm. that will also help the inner workings of your body. So I have a lot of tips coming to that channel very soon. I put it here on the screen, YouTube. It just dawned on me, and y'all help me help Dawn stay accountable because there's some videos we all been waiting on for a while, and she's like, "Well, I gotta get them ready." I'm working on them. I just don't want them to be plain. I want them to look good. Yeah, and so just know if y'all go to her YouTube page in two more, three more weeks, and you're like, "What thought she said?" Come find her. Come find her and tell her Christine told you to check on her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you. Hang, out, hang out for a second after I end this broadcast. For all of you watching, thank you for hanging out with Dawn. Thank you for sending her love and good energy. And Dawn Bino, I want to publicly say I am so proud of you. Keep pushing. Don't forget, you got you still have access to all the trainings. Just keep yeah. keep working the work. Keep working the work. And everybody, thank you for watching. This is episode 191. If you missed any part of this, you can catch the replay. It, come on over to my YouTube channel, Coach Christine Horn, and binge your life away and get your life on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. Bye.